Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. Uh, today is Friday, August the 5th, and I picked up this uh, old uh, wireless 19 set. I picked up a tube tester and some tubes as well um, yesterday. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys the wireless 19 set. I know there's a lot out there that are in better shape. This thing sat in the garage uh, for quite some time. I mean, uh, everything turns, everything moves. Uh, inside, I'm not sure what it looks like. Uh, for those of you that don't know, these do run off of some very high voltages, uh, the power supply. I do not have the power supply. But I have the radio here, and I just wanted to show you guys the radio and, you know, share a few things about it with you and just show it to you. And, uh, you know, the thing's pretty, it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it obviously is a great uh, conversation piece. Um, but a bit of history, I guess, if you haven't, uh, you know, looked into these radios or, or even interested in them. Um, this is the wireless set uh, 19 Mark II and a bit of history, I guess, about it. Uh, it was first introduced in 1940. And uh, the number 19 set began to replace a lot of the uh, pre-wireless uh, sets, I think number 11. Uh, there were two versions. There was the Mark II uh, and a Mark III uh, that came to life in 1942. Um, and an improved uh, version came from Canada, which was introduced in 1942. Uh, for use primarily with uh, other forces. Uh, so uh, the British service uh, number 19 was replaced in the post-war era by uh, Larkspur radio system. So uh, Canadian built uh, number 19s saw service for many years uh, with a variety of users of course and uh, you know there's there's a couple different really cool features on here. Um, there it can be used as an intercom uh, as well um these are generally you know made for for tanks and and convoys um there's an aerial a uh there's an aerial b um and there, there's a setting here for i believe these things ran nine watts on high power and i cannot recall what the power level is on low i'll have to search that up but you could switch around between this this thing ran from two to uh, eight megahertz as you can see here from two to eight megahertz, uh, it ran CW uh, and AM. And what else can I tell you about it here? Um, so there was a high and low power. So there was a, uh, a high power on it, uh, you know, for working different units. And then within the unit, uh, there was a low power setting. If there was a convoy uh, that was moving or gathered together that they would use to uh, keep comms in close uh, without uh, the enemy or anyone else uh, hearing it. So anyway, that's my take on what I've read, what I understand about the uh, the unit. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, radio. It is pretty cool. Like I say, uh, the stuff does all turn. Things do move. You can see a little bit of rust on here. Uh, but, you know, for the better part, you know, uh, depending on what it looks like inside, it's a, a pretty cool radio for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is Fred, uh, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great weekend. 7-3.